Welcome back to our channel. In today's session, we will discuss about uh, one more program in Python that is to find whether the number is a sunny number or not. Sunny number. So, first we will see the logic, then we will go with the program. So, a number is called as a sunny number if immediate number is a perfect square perfect square right so let me explain so consider n value as a 3 so that what is the immediate number so immediate number is for this number 3 is 4 which is nothing but a perfect square perfect square so how we can say it is a perfect square so it is nothing but a 2 into 2 right see if n is equal to 4 so the immediate number is what is the immediate number 5 so after 4 we will get a 5 so which is not a perfect square perfect square so if it is a perfect square then we call it as a sunny number so 3 is a sunny number sunny number right and here in this example 4 is not a sunny number 4 is not a sunny number right so if the immediate number is a perfect square then we call it as a sunny number well now we will go with the logic so here first let us take the n value and then we will find the immediate value. So and then we will write the logic. So n is equal to int of input enter number. So we are taking some number. Now let me take an x is equal to n plus 1 that is the immediate number. So if n is equal to 3, 4 will be the immediate number. If n is equal to 10, 11 will be the immediate number. So we are incrementing that with 1 and this is the immediate number. And this one is the immediate number. right? Now we have to check whether this immediate number is a perfect square or not. So for that we will go with a loop for i in uh, range from 1 to x. So we will we'll check if i star i is equal to is equal to x. If any square matches with the x we can say it is a, is a uh, sunny number so we will uh, declare a flag as 1 we will initialize a flag as 1 and then simply we can break and if it is not possible the flag will remain 0 so initially we will give with the flag 0 and after completion of the for loop if there is no perfect match right if there is no perfect match automatically the flag will be remain 0 itself right so if there is any match if it is a perfect square then will the flag will be set to 1 and we are just coming out from the loop right so finally we will compare the flag value based upon the flag value we will decide whether the number is a sunny number or not so if flag is equal to is equal to 1 so we can say that print n is a sunny number and if there is no perfect square if, if the match doesn't uh, equals then simply the flag value will be remains 0 that implies print n is not a sunny number right so hope you understood this one so if you consider a value n the immediate number of that particular n must be the perfect square so we are taking the i value from 1 to x so in the range function the x if you are giving x as the uh, upper bound so x will not be included so it will iterate from 1 to x minus 1 so in all those values if there is any match if there is any particular square uh, perfect square matches with this particular x that implies it is uh, it is a sunny number right so if i execute here so if, you, if i give 3 
So 3 is a sending number because the immediate number is 4 which is a perfect number. Okay, perfect square. And if I go with the 8, 8 is also a sending number because the immediate number is 9. So the result is a which is a perfect square. And simply if I go with the 10, it should not be a sending number. So immediate number is 11 which is not a perfect square. One more example, if I go with the 24, it is a sunny number because the immediate number is 25 which is a perfect square. Right? So 100, it is not a sunny number because 101, the immediate number is 101 which is not a perfect square. So hope you understood this one. So this is how we can find out whether the given number is a sunny number or not. So if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.